And I think there is something about that uh, which may be uh, useful to learn. Now, these companies, uh, that's cultural things. So, for example, uh, uh, we have some lectures as part of our undergraduate course about business. The most popular uh, lectures course we have is some of these successful people say how I did it. So the students listen, oh, okay. So it's sort of, you know, like the Frank Sinatra song, I did it my way. So you get 12 I did it my ways, and uh, that can inspire. And so that kind of thing. But we also have an industry club, which is a, from the industry point of view, it's finding good quality people, employing them. From the computer lab, from the academic side, it's links with industry. But because we're flexible, many people in the department uh, are industry. So, you know, people talk about transfer of technology. And uh, I say transfer, I don't really understand it because for many people, you, your right half of your brain is industry, the left half is academic. So you just talk to yourself and the transfer happens. And then we have a, a, at the bottom a computer lab a graduate uh, association, uh, which is a really a business club or a graduate club. Uh, it's a membership organization. You pay some money each year in order to be a member. It has activities like talks or dinners uh, or we give a prize for the best academic paper. We give a prize for the best business startup. We give a prize for the best product in this group. But really what it is, is a culture. It's a club. It's a way of talking to people, knowing to people, because it's grown to a size where in that organization uh, there are a few hundred members. There are people who can... Uh, fund your business. There are people who can help you with your career. There are people who can tell you you're talking nonsense. There are people who can help you in various ways. And this works very well because the university provides a platform uh, which is a little more neutral than is possible if this was being done by a company only. So that's our model. Flexibility, industry club, which is more to do with uh, sponsorship of research and recruitment. And then the most important thing is this graduate association. And it's not a fundraising association. So in that capacity, we do not say, hey, give me one million pounds for the university. No, 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 no. That's the one question or one point you will not be asked. So it's a wonderful uh, place, and uh, if you're in the uh, Cambridge area, do please uh, uh, come along. So just a few general uh, points of my opinion as a representative of my department, or maybe just me. So um, the university, in my view, any university but my university, uh, produces good quality people. That's the number one thing. And it runs on goodwill. And it must never, never uh, forget that. Uh, and if it becomes, in my view, too businesslike, it's a lose. It's no good. So it generates fantastic people, the best quality people, and that's the contribution to the country, to the business world, and to society more generally. Funding. Funding at the university tends to be for things that are published and that is subject to peer review. And peer review has uh, a very important place. So you write your article, you send it for refereeing, and it comes back. But in my view, peer review is absolutely nothing to do with innovation, wealth generation, that sort of thing. Or at least it's a poor 
indicator, it's not a good indicator. So do not, in my view, confuse the two. If you want to publish, that's fine, publish, but don't assume, and the policy makers must not assume that just because you've got lots of papers, or actually I'll say patents is the same thing, it's another kind of publication, that means that you will make lots of money, have successful businesses. It's not as easy as that. In fact, uh, you know, two different things. And then within the university, the people, why is it that people bother? Uh, so you must give them uh, the appropriate uh, incentives, and of course the main incentive is no boss. So if you find yourself in a situation where you're telling your universities, and in Cambridge it would be deaf, uh, that you have to do this, the incentive would uh, disappear, because the motivation would be there, not there, and so on. But if you uh, give that freedom and flexibility, then the pay is um, less of an issue. And then finally, this flexibility. So uh, let me uh, give some examples of that. Um, so I am very keen to support my purely academic colleagues if that's what they want to do. Write your paper, if it's the best in the world, happiness, no problem. But at the same time, at the other end, if you want to be very applied, happiness. If you want to do television programs for the BBC, which are broadcast worldwide, happiness. So that's flexibility. In terms of teaching load, the number of hours, we are again, we juggle. So it's not that you absolutely have to do this or that or the other. Uh, there's some flexibility, and we have the good fortune that the total teaching is not, uh, undergraduate teaching is not uh, a great amount. Um, we don't have any, uh, and I think it may be similar in some places here, the contract of employment does not stipulate hours of work. And everybody works much more than it would normally say. But so if you want to work, I don't care if people are in the building, out of the building, in their firm, not in their firm, in the library. Good luck. And underlying this is this broad view, very broad view, that is encouraged. Flexibility broad view. So in addition to the specialism, look at the world and understand the broader picture and see how you can be the best, world class, in your own way. And as a result of this, we can still just, just, even in Cambridge, just attract people to come and join the university. But it's getting more difficult. Because really, if you have a rational choice, do you want to be an academic or not, it's not so obvious that academia is always the best thing. But with this flexibility, we get away. <laughs>